Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the decision process first about uh, in regards to choosing BYU because you had Wisconsin as an option, you had Wyoming as an option. Uh, why the Cougars? Uh, I got the chance to go visit Wisconsin and other schools like that, and I just it's weird when uh, they tell you that uh, BYU, you'll be able to tell that BYU is right for you when you walk into school because the feeling you get. I thought it was just all a fake, but I actually got the chance to go visit other schools and it just didn't feel right. But when I walked into BYU, uh, just something caught me about the system. I I like everything they bring to the table, not only football, football wise, but like the aspects in life. Like they're gonna help me grow as a person and my education and uh, like what's important to me, like family stuff's gonna come before football. So. Well, you were you were offered by BYU, but then it, it took a while before you actually made the commitment. Talk a little bit about that because there's 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 some uh, some things that are I think special to you about that, right? Yeah, it's probably Joe, Coach Mendenhall, and Coach doing nuts, but uh, well, I had a I had a good talk with Coach Bar uh, Bronco Mendenhall. Um, so the reason why it took so long is because like they had to for them they had to they had all these questions they had about me still, and I still had to prove myself, but like. When they offered, I knew it was the school I wanted to go to, but it just, there was certain like steps I had to take before I made my decision to make sure it was like for sure the right school. And I'm Mormon, I'm LDS, so it was something I, it was a big decision in my life, so I had to pray and fast about it. And it just, it, some people don't get their answers that fast in mind. It's just so I had to take a while. Uh, and in terms of, uh, of your, of the day that you did commit, there, there, were, there were some special things about that particular date, was there not? Yeah, it was uh, it was the day my brother passed away. Oh, not his, but like my other brother that passed away, and it was his birthday, and I wanted to do it on a special day, and it just his birthday was coming up, so I decided to do it then. Um, you're thinking you talked about your um, importance of of uh, your church membership, and you've made a decision that you're you're going to serve a mission before you enroll, right? Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I just, I feel it's at that time in my life where I, I need to start giving back. Cause, well, not only that, but like, it's not something that's required of me, but it's something I think I want to do because it's also going to help me like mature. So when I do come to BYU, I'll be ready for that next step in my life. And hopefully I learn something on my, like, I learned something that's going to help me throughout my life on my mission. So. Well, and also, um, a lot of people may not know that you just recently had had surgery on on a knee, uh, and uh, so let's talk a little bit about about that and how that's going. It's it's going good. The well, it happened uh, the first week of our season when our season was going to start the Cottonwood game. It was a Tuesday practice, and I just got hit wrong from behind, and uh, my kneecap happened to like shatter, and bones kind of went everywhere, and it didn't really like. I guess that's why my season, like I was hurt a lot of this this year, was because it never really recovered. But there was bone fragments that just like kept causing my knee to swell, so it was hard to like push off and power. But I got I went in, got it fixed. Uh, Coach uh, Doran knows, I mean uh, Doman knows about it, and uh, he, they're just I'm getting ready for to come back and give it, give him my all. So you'll have a little bit. Of, you'll have time, obviously, to to yeah, rehab. When mission. you get when you get back off yeah. your mission, you should be good to go, right? Yeah, everything's working out. Everything's working out well for me, so I'm blessed. And is that frustrating? I mean, here's your senior season. You're expecting to really, you know, take your performance to another level, but because of the injury, it was difficult last year. And it's frustrating. Year. Like, there's, but like, there's, like, I've had days where I just, why me? I, co I complain. I got pissed and I threw stuff. But at the end of it all, I just sat there and I felt dumb because, like, it's not that I, it, I can't change it. I can't go back and fix my knee and. If I could go back, honestly, it's gonna sound kind of weird. I wouldn't change it because I've learned a lot of stuff and I grew more like mentally. And that was gonna be one of my biggest challenges going into college was my mental game. And I've learned to like study more film. I've learned to understand my opponents, and that's why like I kind of had like an edge this year, even though I was injured physically. And uh, I was just things happen for a reason. That's my belief. And even though I did get hurt, I just means I'm just gonna have to come out and show it in college. My best hasn't been seen yet, so. We'll just have to wait. Well, you, uh, if I remember correctly, you primarily played outside linebacker. Is that the position the Cougar coaches tell you that you're probably going to be at? Are you going to be inside or outside? Or, or? I'm going to play middle. Well, I'll play wherever they want me to play, but I prefer to play middle. This year, we had a, 
we just uh, certain linebackers couldn't play the other position, but so I played strong side. But if if my, my if it was my choice, I want to play middle linebacker. I just I think I could do a lot more better for not only myself but for the team. I have I'm able to read well, so I'm hopefully I'm hoping for middle. And that's an, an important position, no doubt, in the, in the BYU defense. Yeah. This the inside linebacker um, with their four three. Uh, or three four alignment the uh, in terms of your specific skills and abilities uh, what do you think you bring to the to the BYU football program in terms of, of on the field well when I'm healthy uh, I can read well and like, I don't know if to other people like they might think I'm just full of myself but I just I hope I don't come off that way but uh, I really think I have the ability to read well I can tell where plays are going I can tell by the alignment of certain like offenses and where their offensive alignment block where the ball is eventually going to end up to and when you're playing the middle of the field you're uh, you're able to be in more plays and you're able to help out more like in more spaces but well, this year when I played at strong side it was kind of hard because I was limited to one side of the field and then chasing down to the other but I also I'm aggressive too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give the wire everything I have until like like even if it means crawling off the field. Like, sounds crazy, but I'll do it. When 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 you watch film of you, you can't help but think you're one of those players that ha really has a nose for the football. Do you see yourself that way? I mean, there's cer certain people that just come across when you look at them being just. That guy's a football player, and I think when people see you play, that's what that's what people think. I would hope so, but like well, me personally, when I watch him, it frustrates me because I know like I don't know how it is for other people. When I watch myself play, I just I don't really see like the good. Yeah, I see like good plays, but like it's mostly like the stuff I didn't do or I could have done, and it just it frustrates me. So like hopefully, like I try to watch film and learn from it. So when I come back, those mistakes are taken care of. But I hope I come off that way. Like, when other people watch, so 